why is actually this Delta networking capital so interesting, also from a valuation perspective. So in a restructuring case, you do not necessarily look into this. You have more important things to look at. But from a transactional perspective, this is really interesting. Because if you've ever taken corporate valuation classes, you may know that in the adjusted present value approach, for example, you have this kind of weird line item here, Delta networking capital. And if it's more negative, well, that happens to be positive for the value of the equity. And let's say it's just not really that clear why this is the case. And as we can see here on the lowest level of the tree, it just happens to be the case that while well, more EBIT obviously increases the value of the equity and net income is just, well, EBIT less those interests and taxes. Here, well, there's a minus sign before the Delta networking capital. So if it's negative, it just happens to be with the same effect as EBIT. So in case you come across this in corporate valuation classes or anywhere else, uh, now you have an explanation for that. We will especially see this when we build this in the model that the effect in terms of balancing is just the same. And this provides for a different angle on this and an explanation why this is included in here like this.